Hey y'all, this is Sergeant Dan with Palmetto Edge, and today I have a review for you of this guy right here. This is the CRKT Periscale. Let me get you a close-up of it. Hairy there, let's see. So, there's your blade. There's the locking mechanism right there. That's their deadbolt. Scales with the paracord. All right, so uh, next up is size comparisons. So let's see, here it is up against the Benchmade Bug Out, and here it is up against the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So as you can see, it's got a uh, taller blade than both of these, about the same length there as the uh, Bug Out, but then it's got a much more uh, substantial meteor handle not quite as long as the paramilitary 2 so there's your size comparisons now let's get into specifications overall length on this guy is 7.875 inches with a 3.125 inch blade length with a 3 inch cutting edge it is where is it right here if I can get it for you there maybe you can see it there can you yeah it's D2 steel it is on KVT ball bearings. Um, locking mechanism is this right here. This is the deadbolt locking mechanism. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with what that is, go check out CRKT's uh, YouTube channel. They've got a video on it. But it's essentially a pin that goes through the blade and into the scales on the other side. And yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty uh, pretty substantial locking mechanism. Um, Let's see, drop point, flat grind, satin, uh, what else? It's got a paracord wrap on the handle, which we will get to here in just a little while. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Uh, the handle material, this is not like G10, it's, it's plastic of some sort. I Probably GFN, FRN, something like that. Steel liners. Um, does have steel liners on it, in it, whatever you want to say. Um, deep carry pocket clip, although you can't make the whole knife disappear into your pocket, you still got a little bit of it sticking out here. Uh, it is one position only, so right hand tip up only for that pocket clip. Uh, unassisted, so say just uses the thumb studs to open it. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? I guess that's about it. Um, so, let me address the things that I do really like about it first. Uh, for one, the ergonomics on it are pretty darn good. Um, so, yeah, l let me get this out of the way. Apart from, apart from a couple of nitpicky things, um, there's really only one huge issue that I've had with this thing. Uh, and like I said, I, I will get to that. So most most of it's going to be good, okay? Um, ergonomics on it are pretty good. Um, you know, it's contoured right. It's it's not got some kind of a funky shape or something like that to it. The paracord here really lends itself to to helping out with the grip texture and everything like that. Um, the pocket clip here is real nice. I mean, it just disappears in the hand. It there's no hot spots, no, 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 even one of these. Well, yeah, I can feel it, but I wouldn't quite call it a hot spot. No, nothing like that. Um, it is kind of just a plain looking pocket clip, but, uh, you know, it, it does its job and it does it well. Um, and while we're on that note, let me say this too. This thing with all this paracord is very surprisingly easy to get in and out of pocket. It just slides in and out piece of cake. I thought maybe the paracord at first might would be a little bit of an issue. It has not been whatsoever. Um, that's really nice. Uh, deployment is smooth, fast, easy. Um, Lockup is solid every time. Well, almost every time. I'll get to that. Every time. Um, absolutely no blade play in any direction. D2 steel, so that's 
fine by me. I like D2. Um, I've, <laughs> I've had to sharpen it once, but not because it got dull, but I don't know if you can see the tip there or really see much evidence of it, but uh, because I... Uh, not long after getting it, dropped it tipped down just like that onto the pavement. And so I've had to kind of work on that a little. Still got a little bit of work to do on it, but I basically just uh, touched it up to get it uh, able to be used again. Um, but yeah, that locking mechanism, I really, really like CRKT's deadbolt locking mechanism. Um, very cool, very innovative, while also being functional and working great okay CRKT has been known in the past to do just off the wall experimental kind of stuff which is cool that's part of the reason why I like CRKT uh, but this is one that's that I'm really really liking that really works um, I don't have it here with me but I bought their first knife with the deadbolt locking system the um, seismic still liking that knife a lot um, yeah so Let's see, what else? Great blade shape. Just a, a good um, kind of drop point deal here. It's, well, you saw me just almost stab myself, but even before I dropped it on its tip, it didn't have like a real sharp piercing tip, okay? Um, but, yeah, that's that's one thing it doesn't have. Um, it is kind of thick, a little bit of thick blade stock there. So, you know, if you're someone that wants like a just ridiculous blade, slicer okay this one's not going to be it but it's it it does its job it cuts it slices just maybe not as good as other knives um let's see what else good do i have to say about it um the design is cool the design is really cool um so the way this works is this paracord is woven around the handle okay there's these little they're actually wrapped around them here okay these little holes that you weave it through and then back over top and then through and back over top and then through and back okay you get the point there um and it all starts right here you have to kind of make a a flat end on your on your paracord and feed it through there and that holds it in and then you tie a knot on this end and tuck it in or you can leave it long and put you a a bead on it, make you a lanyard, something like that. Um, really, I, I really like that about it. I was, I was pleasantly surprised at how well that works. Uh, like I said, both with both with the uh, knife going in and out of the pocket with that pocket clip, as well as grip and things like that. Uh, so that's that's just another one of those cool, experimental, innovative features that CRKT has done here that actually works. Um, so, yeah, um, so let's get into my couple of little nitpicky things. Um, so, nitpicky, um, although I was talking about the ergonomics are great, which they are, these edges here are still very sharp. Um, I mean, not like cut you sharp, not even like dig in sharp, but you can feel that it's not chamfered, not rounded off. Now, is that something I could easily fix at home or you could easily fix at home? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Piece of cake. But the fact is, this is how it comes from the factory, right? So so that's how, uh, that's how I'm going to review it. So there's that. Um, let me think. What was another one of the other little nitpicky things that I had about it? Oh, um... I wish I had my uh, my other one here to compare it to, my Seismic. Uh, this one, if you'll notice, it's not, although I can open it easy, it doesn't close very easy. And it's almost like, it's almost like there's this detent up here. Okay, it's, it's not only that, but it's not... I mean, as you can see, it's not any kind of drop shut or anything like that. So even though it opens great, closing it, I find myself trying to do that, getting frustrated. So now I've gotten into the habit of just doing it this way with it. All right. Now, I mean, it can be done, but you have to sling it hard, harder than I believe reasonable. And sometimes you do it too hard and it bounces back. And Okay, so 
Well, see, it did good that time other than, let's see, not that time. So just, just to avoid all that hassle with this knife, I've just started, you know, doing it one-handed but manually like that, okay? Um, let's see, I'm pretty sure that was my only two really nitpicky things I had about it. Um, so let's get into the the thing that's going to make me go, I don't know whether I'm going to tell you to buy this knife or not. Um, if you saw my unboxing of this one, uh, in my CRKT new knives for the year unboxing, you saw where I said, I will probably not change out this para, uh, the paracord because I like that tan. Well, as you can see, the paracord's not tan anymore. Um, and that is because I had to take this knife apart. Um... And the reason for that is, a couple of nights ago, uh, while on duty, I had to use this knife, not for anything, not for any kind of emergency or tactical situation or anything like that, but was still carrying it for review, went to use it, and then when I went to close it, it came apart on me. You see here, the, uh, the uh, lock mechanism just fell apart on me. Um... Even though the, the tip of this is a little screw, okay, uh, has threads on it, that had blue Loctite on it. And it was, it goes through this hole, through the other side, and into that. And that's your deadbolt lock, okay? So it goes through, out the other side, and into that. So this button here that has threads on the opposite end, that had blue Loctite on them, worked itself loose, and it came apart. Thank goodness... So see that it was it was this part with the spring underneath it, and see it's it comes through and screws into the back of this part. Thank goodness, uh, even though it was in the dark, I was able to find all the pieces, get it put back together. Um, but also, once I got it put back together, the blade centering on this thing was absolutely perfect. And as you can see, now it is not. It favors the pocket clip side, but this is better. That's the reason why I had to take it apart was because when this came apart, my blade centering went out the window um, to the point where it was scrubbing on the pocket clip side, okay? Taking it apart, done the whole putting a piece of paper in there and tightening stuff down. Uh, I, I took it completely apart to clean it, lube it, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've tried every trick I know to get blade centering back to, uh, it was literally perfect, um, back to the way it was. And this is the best I have gotten it, which, you know, it's still fine. It's not scrubbing here anymore. As a matter of fact, there's a good enough gap where you can see daylight through it, okay? So it's way better than it was after the incident, but not as good as it was before the incident. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I had a catastrophic malfunction on this knife. Uh, thank goodness, like I said, thank goodness I was able to find all the parts. Thank goodness it wasn't in any kind of emergency situation or tactical situation or or anything like that um if that had come apart when i'm trying to use the knife i could have lost a finger okay so that's that's definitely a, a problem a big big problem in my opinion i was loving it beforehand was ready to give it a wonderful review uh, except for telling you about my just couple of little bitty nitpicky things about it okay was ready to give it a wonderful review and then that happened so now I'm torn. Now I don't know what to tell you. I can t I'll tell it to you this way. Before that experience, like I said, I loved this knife, was enjoying this knife, was going to give it a great review. Afterwards, my opinion has changed. Um, you know, when you have when you have a catastrophic malfunction with a knife like that, then it it's uh, even though I've got everything put back together the way I want it and Loctited, I, I believe Loctited properly now, it still calls into question the structural integrity, the uh, reliability, and all of this knife. So just take my, uh, take my experience into account when you're thinking about buying one of these and uh, go from there. Um, so, yeah, speaking of buying one of these, how much do these things cost? Let's get into that now. Hundred and thirty dollars. That was another. That that was honestly another issue I was going to have with it. Hundred and thirty dollars, and I don't know that. 
what you get here, and I was thinking this even beforehand, before the the issue I had. I don't know that what you get here is worth $130. You got D2 steel, which is good steel, okay, but D2 steel, plastic handles, made in China, okay. Uh, I just, I don't know. Yes, it's on KVT bearings. Yes, it's an innovative design with an innovative lock mechanism. That's another one of those things I'm kind of on the fence about. Yeah, I paid $130 for it, okay, so I can't be complaining about it too awful much, but, you know, as for telling someone else that it's worth that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, like I said, it's, it, uh, it's a good knife, but I don't know about $130. Um, cool feature about it, you know, is you, you can customize it, you know, whatever color paracord you want, you can put in there, um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know, I just don't know what to think about the $130 price tag, I, I think, I think maybe 100 I think maybe 30 less would be much more reasonable, in my opinion, you know, 100 maybe 90 for what you get here, that, that would make me a lot more happier for the price, um, about the price, so, yeah, uh, now, am I, am I liking it, I'm still liking it, okay, I'm still really liking this knife, but I, I also still can't get that, the locking mechanism coming apart out of my head every time I use it, um, so, I don't know, so if, if something were to happen to it, am I happy I bought it, y yes, okay, I'm, I'm happy I got it, um, but if if something were to happen to it where CRKT's warranty wouldn't replace it, fix it, take care of me in whatever way I needed, would I replace it? Honestly, probably not. Uh, as much as I've enjoyed it, and even after the, the I'm going to start calling it the incident, even after the incident, um, I've still been enjoying it. Um, matter of fact, part of, part of the fun was taking it apart, getting it cleaned up, getting getting the paracord, you know, back on it, uh, well, you know, of course, this is a different paracord than was on it, but, you know, all that was fun, but the reason why I was having to do it uh, is kind of an issue, you know, um, so would I replace it if CRKT's warranty would not take care of me, fix it, replace it, or whatever? Honestly, probably not. Um, CRKT came out with some other uh, a few other knives with the deadbolt locking mechanism here this year. I would, I might would try one of those out if something were to happen to this one. But oh, see, didn't get a good deployment that time. But that was that was user error, not the knife's issue. Okay, um, so there you go. There it is, the CRKT Periscale. It's a good knife, but man, check your screws, <laughs> all that stuff. Check all that stuff. Go ahead and take it apart when you first get it, and and lock tight stuff up. <laughs> Uh, or just maybe maybe even skip it and get something else. I, I don't know. So, yeah, there's, there's my opinion and experience with this one, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos on the channel. I've got plenty of them with plenty more coming. And, uh, you know, just go check out my Instagram, too. It's at Palmetto Edge. And... Uh, if you like what you see in either or both places subscribe follow all that great stuff and again thank y'all for watching this one y'all have a good one